Only tonight on NBC Charlotte, an inside look at the car hit by a bullet in a random shooting on I-85. We just checked and police still haven't made any arrest. There's a hole in the windshield. The bullet hit the driver in the face. The good news here, he escaped with his life. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton joins us now live with the story. Xavier. Fred, this story tonight has a lot of people concerned, and here's why. Police still don't know where that shot actually came from. Now, it happened on a popular stretch of I-85. A man was driving just like we are right now when all of a sudden he heard a loud crack. I don't know if you can see it from that side. It was supposed to be a quick trip to the Concord Mills Mall. It says that someone shot into a vehicle there. But the two brothers never made it. They're stating that it happened at the bridge at Sugar Creek 85. You're sitting in this seat right here. Yeah. A bullet hole and this spot of blood on the side of the truck tell part of the terrifying story. What happened? When I see that explosion, it's strong. My brother told me I, I have something in my face. They said they were driving under the bridge and the round came through the front windshield and hit the driver in the face. Gerardo's brother, Jonathan, was driving. Their cousin says the bullet shattered his cheekbone. Doctors are waiting for the swelling to go down before they can take out the bullet. Sadly, not the first time highway horror stories have come from that stretch of I-85. Just last spring, there were three cars hit in three days from flying objects. It hit the windshield and uh, it really shocked me. I almost wrecked in the highway. As for this most recent case, you can die on the spot. The family says the two brothers must have had an angel on their side because if that bullet went an inch in either direction, it could have been fatal. There's a miracle that he survived. Certainly hard to believe that this would actually happen on I-85, a popular stretch. Thankfully, that man is going to make a full recovery. Our police are still investigating this, so if you do have any information that may help with their investigation, go ahead and give them a call. Reporting live, Xavier Walton, NBC Charlotte. Wow, that is a miracle of survival. Thank you.